Hey, how's it going? It's George from Decker.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change your location on your iPhone and Android as well as being able to track your fail location live on your phone, which is going to apply for every single application and game that you have on your phone. So let's take a look. Now, before getting started with this video, I have to emphasize that there's not an official way of doing this. So that's why we're going to have to rely on third party apps in order to achieve this, to achieve this process. And for this purpose of this video, I have done loads of research and I have found a very good third party app, which can allow us to move on with this process. Now I have to mention that this uh, video has been made for educational purposes only. So please use this tool if you really want to change your location, if it's something's urgent and you want to do this only when you absolutely need to and not for malicious purposes or any other uh, unethical purpose that you can think of. Okay, so that being said, let's go straight to this video and show you exactly what to do in order to achieve this purpose. Now, in order to achieve this, you will have to use a computer and it doesn't matter whether you use Mac or Windows, it should work on both platforms. And the tool that we're going to be using is called iMyPhone Any2. And as you can see, it supports the latest iOS, which is iOS 16 and as well as Android 13. And this tool gives you multiple features, including um, using location-based apps, such as, such as like Pokemon Go and other like uh, social platforms, as well as it gives you the ability to move from uh, point A to point B by having a specified uh, route, which is gonna make your iPhone act like it's on a, on a car and it's moving from uh, to this uh, part. We're gonna go through in more details once we install the app. So from here, all you have to do is to click on the try uh, it free version. And once you have done that, then make sure to go to your finder and then go to download and make sure you double click on the zip file in order to install it. So once you have done that, then you can go to applications and then you can launch uh, any two. And from here, just click on get started and you should be prompted with these instructions right here. Now there are two ways to connect your phone to your computer. One way is by using a USB cable a lighting USB cable in order to connect your app to your computer. If you are using a MacBook and it only has USB-C cables, USB-C ports, then you kind of want to use a uh, USB-C adapter in order to uh, achieve this process. Or uh, even easier, you can connect your iPhone by using Wi-Fi. Now this is what we're gonna try because it's gonna be easier for this purpose. So, and for this to work, we have to make sure that we're connected on the same Wi-Fi network so we have Vodafone 5G, we're gonna make sure that this is also prevalent with your phone. We're gonna enable Wi-Fi and a long tap and we're gonna make sure that we're connected to the same Wi-Fi, there you go. And I uh, should take some time and there you go. My the phone should be recognized uh, through Wi-Fi, just press okay. And then you're gonna have to enter your password. So let's do this very quickly. And there you go, it's gonna be connected. And by default, it's gonna show that we are in Athens now, Athens is a capital city of Greece. If we zoom out, you see, you notice that this is the map of, of Europe. And what we want to do is we just want to move to a different location. Now, in order to do that, you just want to click on the map anywhere you want um, by using teleport mode. And if you want to choose whatever map you want, you just drop the pane and say move and and the move should happen. Now, before doing this, I just want to launch Google Maps in order to show you that this can happen real time. So right now we are located right here. As you can see that the map is very similar. We have some green stuff, green spots right here, green areas, and these are the green areas you can see on the map here. Um, we will uh, move to this location. You'll see that this is gonna apply on Google Maps as well. It's gonna apply on the phone uh, live. Just gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna press and move, move, and boom, it happened live. So now the look, the uh, our current location has been set to be near the mountain, as you can see on the map here. Now, what if you want to move to a different country or a different location? Well, that's pretty simple enough. You can just zoom out, and then you can move and drop your pin anywhere you like. In our case, we're just gonna move to uh, New York in the U.S. So we're gonna zoom in. And then we're just gonna drop the pen right here. And then we're gonna press and move, confirm. And then if we zoom out on the phone, you notice that the pen has, has moved to across the pond 
to Manhattan, New York. So we're gonna just zoom in and just gonna just pan this a little bit because we want to experiment with we're gonna experiment with the other features as well. So uh, does it doesn't work. So there we have it. Okay, cool. So as we as we mentioned uh, at the beginning of this video, we have other options such as uh, we can fake a movement from part from point A to point B. And, and the way this works is by selecting jump teleport mode so you can select certain locations where you want uh, to move. You have point, uh, 1, point 0.2, point 0.3 and then you're going to press point 0.4, point 0.5, whatever you want. And then you can move from those two locations. So you just press and move. It's going to move to location 1 and that also applies on Google Maps. Next point, next point and next point. And this could be useful if you want to move to different locations at a given time. So at this moment, you're right here. Then you want to make sure that you want to uh, say that you're in the hospital. You can just drop a pin right here. Then you say you want to be on uh, Fifth Avenue. Then you can just drop a pin right here and then just move those between those two points. So that's going to be kind of useful. And the other option that we have is Just gonna no, throw everything to the bin. And the other thing that we have is that we can uh, create a fake movement. So say that you are, so you can fake that you are in the car or you are in the motorcycle cycling or just walking from point A to point B. Now this is gonna take into account that there are roads in between. So say that you want to fake that you are moving from your location right now to uh, your nearest church. So this looks to be a church. I'm just going to drop a pin right here. And then you can click on, just going to make it a bit slower. And then you can press on move. And this is going to create this route. And then it's going to fake the location. As you can see, we are moving on Google Maps as well. And it's journey right now. And then it's going to the church. Now, this is not taking into account um, the traffic that is taking place in this location right now. It could be extremely crowded. Just pay attention to this. Um, then you have multi-spot mode where you can set multiple locations of where you want to go. So say that you want to go to this spot, this spot, and then you want to go here, 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 and then you want to end up to the hospital, just like that. Um, and then, of course, at the end, you want to go to this point, and then go to this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, and then you can go back and you can create a circle, circle route if you want. And once you press and move, then it's going to start following this path. Now keep this in mind that this doesn't that the motor spot mode doesn't take into account roads. So you kind of, so if you want to take into account of roads, just make sure that you uh, specify exactly the locations of where you want to go. Um, and as you can see, the same thing happens on Google Map. So you will notice that these the loca our location is moving, uh, and it's, it's following the exact path that we have set right here. I'm just gonna pause this for now. I'm just gonna pause and I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna move on to the next one. And of course, we're gonna go back to where we were, back to our original location, and then we're just gonna move there, okay? Now you have also the joystick mode. What you do is basically moving to the direction that you are specifying. So you're moving to, you can move to the direction, but just keep pressing on, you know, the, the arrow so you can move to the location. And then of course, we can speed up. And then we can also make it automatic by pressing on the move. And then we can always change direction as well like that. And as you guys notice that this happens on Google Maps as well. It's moving wherever we change the direction. And I'm just going to stop this for now. And finally, if you if you have a, had a location, you cannot remember which location it was, you can always go to the history and just browse through the location that we have set uh, earlier. So we're just going to exit this. However, this is not going to be limited to Google to Google Maps because this is going to apply to every single apps that you're going to run. So you have an app which requires your current location, then and by using this, then the the app is going to think that you are at this location that you have specified right now. And one of those apps, and this also applies to games, social media. And one social media app that comes into my mind is going to be Snapchat. So if we go on Snapchat, if we go on Snapchat because it has this, this map uh, live feature, uh, which, is, which is showing you exactly where you are live. Uh, we go to our uh, you know, profile, and then we're gonna go to our map. There we go. And just gonna zoom out a little bit. 
There you go. And if I try, I'm just gonna go back to my original location. Uh, if I try to make a fake movement, just gonna make sure it's more visible. Um, we just gonna I'm just gonna tap on uh, to to spot mode, and then just I'm gonna tell them I'm going to the local church. I'm just gonna press on move, and then notice how this also applies on Snapchat. So it's gonna show you live that you are actually moving, although maybe you're not moving at the moment, but you are, uh, you know, going to uh, your destination. Okay, so and that's a very good idea to go ahead and prank your friends. Or, or even just tell your friends that you are in a vacation. Other than pranking your friends in Snapchat that you're in different locations or perhaps in a, va in a vacation, you can apply the same principle on other apps in games as well as, as Pokemon Go, if you're still playing, of course. Another app we're gonna explore right now is going to be Tinder. So by launching the Tinder app, if you have it, of course, hopefully you don't, but hey, then we can go ahead and uh, go in the settings and then just check and see, confirm that we are on, a, on, the diff, on the current location that we have set right now. And as you can see here, it says New York, New York. Uh, I'm gonna tap on this and you'll notice that still says New York, New York, okay? Uh, and then we'll go back. And then you can start using Tinder as, as you know it pretty much. And just to inform you very quickly that my location from uh, where, where it sits right now, it's gonna move to back to the original location. So uh, if you want to go to, to this location to see whether you can find me on Tinder, then you will be able to like, because I'll be deleting my Tinder account because I just don't like this stuff. I just don't, I don't. Now, finally, if you're out of moves and you cannot move you to a new location anymore, and you want to move on to the full version, then I have a 10% discount by using the coupon down in the description uh, below. Um, follow the instructions and you should be able to get your 10% discount. And finally, if you enjoy this video, please feel free to hit the like button on the bottom uh, right of this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you have any questions. Finally, don't forget to share your video to your friends and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right ne next to it in order to receive our latest updates and to be the first one to watch our latest videos. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you in the next video.